Okay, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today we're going to answer a question that some of our students were asking. They're building a they're building a t-shirt cannon to uh, go to the football game and distribute t-shirts to the crowd. And the question was, with what PSI do I shoot uh, the t-shirt? The students said, "Hey, man, the more pressure, the farther it'll go." Well, that's true, but there's one thing you got to worry about: is like how much pressure is too much? How much is dangerous? So what we're going to do today, I got my handy dandy air cannon here that I built years ago. Uh, it's super powerful. It puts 100 PSI on the projectile. We have a t-shirt. I'll cut to a clip right quick. Okay, so step one. We got to take these regulation size, shoot them into the crowd t-shirts and make them into bullets for this cannon. They have to fit in our barrel here. So uh, we're going to speed this part up. Here we go. Can show you uh, exactly how we rolled this t-shirt. It was important rolling this t-shirt to get it the right diameter so it fit down the barrel. And uh, this is what we came up with. Okay. All right. So we're going to shoot it. We're going to shoot this cannon at a at a cheerleader simulant. Right. The guys in the in front of the crowd going to shoot the air cannon, and someone jumps in front of the air cannon. So we have a crash test dummy down here. That's uh, Peter the pumpkin head. We could put a student down here in just a minute to compare and see how close that head is to the real thing. We're going to shoot this t-shirt, which looked just like this before I rolled it up, with this t-shirt. And let's see, let's see if we can, what happens to Johnny pumpkin head over there. Okay, so the next step is we've got our t-shirt, we've got it rolled up, it's the right diameter. Let's feed this down. We've got a We've got a ramrod here. We'll get this seated down the barrel as far as we can. Now, if you want to see how this cannon works, go over to my video on my other channel, Guns Up Review, and there's a video on there explaining exactly how what the internals are doing here to make this cannon work. But today we're just going to shoot it. So here we go. Okay, we're going to load our T-shirt in here. Maybe. Woo! It's nice and tight fit. Very tight fit. Oh, there it goes. All right. So we've got a good seal. This is going to be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, gang. So after a lot of struggles, we finally got a bullet, a wrapped t-shirt seated down the barrel. We may have had to use a little bit of lubricant, but it is tight down the barrel. So it ought to have a really good seal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put 100 PSI on this, and we're going to fire it at Peter Pumpkinhead over there. Let's see what happens. So let's first, let's charge the weapon. All right, here we go. Great one. All right, there you go. We got a seal on our, on our piston. Okay. <laughs> That's about 95 PSI. My compressor fit kick on it would go the extra five pounds and get fully charged. So we're going to fire this by activating this little air cylinder, which will dump a butterfly valve on the back. Air will go out this way, and the projectile will go that way. So let's see how fast a t-shirt will fly. Now this air cannon scares the crap out of me, so I'm going to put my safety glasses on. And here we go. All right. All right, we're fully armed. Here we go. Shot for the pumpkin. In three, two, one. <laughs> okay so students is 100 psi okay to shoot t-shirts at fans with <laughs> let's take a look at the carnage i think the the pumpkin is severely damaged the t-shirt went in the front and out the back Peter Pumpkinhead did not fare so well. So step number two, 
shoot him again, right? So we're going to shoot it again. We've turned the pumpkin a little bit. We're going to hit him one more time, and we're going to, in slow motion as best as we can, we don't have a phantom here, but in slow motion, best we can, let's see what that looked like as the uh, t-shirt entered his skull and splattered his brains out the back. So here we go, shot number two. All right, charging. You good? Okay, here we go. We're going to hook up our trigger. Don't push it. All right. Shot number two. Did we align this? Okay. In three, two, one. So there you go. What pressure can you shoot a t-shirt cannon at without tearing someone's head off? Somewhere less than 95 PSI. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video and tune in next time and see what kind of crazy things we'll be doing. Thanks for watching. Did you get your free t-shirt, Peter?